I'm Darlene and I'd like to welcome you to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making spaghetti with a thick and hearty spaghetti sauce. So the ingredients that we need today are I have about one pound of hamburger and I have two jars of uh, spaghetti sauce and they're flavored with meat they just happen to be and they are 24 ounce jars I will use probably one and a half or, or both of these jars. I also have uh, diced tomatoes, ripe olives, I have a can of mushrooms, this is a seven ounce can, and Italian seasoning, I have my salt and pepper, and I have some oil, vegetable oil, and uh, our grated Parmesan cheese, I have one bell pepper, and this is like half of a large onion, medium large. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of um, our garlic cloves, and then I have one zucchini and about <laughs> one um, yellow squash that I'll be putting in. And then we have our spaghetti. I'm going to be using the thin spaghetti today. I have two pounds here. I will probably use about one and a half for us. Okay, so let me get all this moved out of the way and then we will get started. It's almost, it's more than half, about three-fourths full of water. I'm going to put some salt in it for my, it's what I'm going to cook the spaghetti in. I always put a little bit of salt and about one tablespoon of oil. So, I don't measure, but I will for y'all. So, it's about a tablespoon of oil. I put it right into the water where I'm going to cook my spaghetti. It keeps the spaghetti from sticking together. Okay. I apologize, my light's not working. <laughs> my big light. So I hope that everything's light enough. And I got this pan out. I had to thaw out my hamburger. It was frozen. So I thawed it out. And I'll get it in this pan. Now I wanted to bring the water up to a boil quickly, so I did put that on high. And as you can see, it's already steaming, getting hot. my hamburger in saran wrap and then I put it in here. I washed my hands but I guess I can just go ahead and work on my hamburger. Little inside piece is a little bit frozen still but it'll thaw out pretty quick. Just a little bit of it. So if that happens to y'all, it's okay. You just have to work at it a little bit, make sure it gets cooked. All right. I hope that you guys like spaghetti. My family, man, my kids love spaghetti. <laughs> I eat it all the time when I was pregnant. Now they all love it. They eat it. We love spaghetti. We love the tomato spaghetti sauces. So. Sometimes I make spaghetti when it's just the, just the spaghetti sauce and the meat. 
maybe some onions and stuff, bell peppers, but this time I'm putting everything in it. They like it that way. I'm hoping maybe some of you like a lot of vegetables in yours. I'm just tearing my hamburger up. Since I thawed it out in the microwave, the outside of it gets kind of cooks a little bit. Makes it a little bit harder to tear up into pieces. But I had to get it thawed out quick. Microwaves are handy. That's for sure. Okay, this will be fine. Get it off my fingers. different without my big light over here above my sink. It decided to go out on me a while ago, so I don't have it. Anyway, I started on my garlic. I have three of them already. The ends I cut out, cut off, and I peeled the little paper. I tell most of y'all about garlic. It's little, little garlic cloves, and the outside of it, if you cut the ends off, of each end, just cut a little bitty bit off, and then you take your paper. I call it paper. <laughs> it has a real thin coating, and it's like paper, and it just comes right off. Sometimes you have to kind of peel it. My water's hot. This one ain't too good inside. Hmm. This one don't look as good. I don't usually get garlic that's not too good. That one ain't too good. So if you get a bad one, just don't use it. <laughs> I use part of it. That part looks good. Yeah, I, I don't usually get bad garlic. But that one didn't look too good. So those of you that don't want to do garlic, you don't have to do garlic or onion. It's up to you. If you'd rather use uh, minced garlic that you can get and put in, the, in a jar and keep it in the fridge, or if you want to use, um, if you'd rather use uh, garlic salt or powder, that's fine too. So I like to do the fresh garlic if I have it on hand. So. I'm going to wait on the, spaghetti, on the uh, spaghetti for a little while. It'll cook pretty quick. So I'm going to slice up my, my uh, garlic. I'm just going to slice it as thin as I can get it. I don't have a garlic press. And for a long time there, I was taking my handle and squishing it. But I'm having trouble with my thumb. So... I'm not doing that today. And I think I will try to get one of those garlic presses. I've heard that they're pretty convenient to have, so I think I might get me one. Just trying to cut these up little bitty. They will cook up. Oh, I didn't turn that on. Let's turn our hamburger on so we can get cooking. <laughs> get it cooking. Oh my. Yeah, um, a lot of people like garlic. And a lot don't. Garlic and onions are really good for you, though. 
that have a lot of antioxidants and vitamins and stuff that's good for your body. I read up on a lot of those kind of things, but it's hard for me to tell you all of that stuff. I like to try to eat healthy when I can. And uh, you can't always, but it's nice to. What is it? Herb? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I have plenty. Oh, I thought I heard you say it went bad. Oh, I had one little one that went bad. Okay. <laughs> my daughter just gave me some more garlic. She thought that all my garlic was bad. So she gave me some more. <laughs> Oops. That was sweet of her, wasn't it? Get this in here. Now I think I have enough garlic here. She likes garlic. Oh, she likes garlic. Maybe I'll use one of them. I use one of hers. So you cut the ends off. Then you just take that paper off of them. Sometimes they come off easy and sometimes they don't want to. But it is real thin stuff, just like paper. But they're really not too, they're not hard to work with. They're not. They're, and they're so good. They give your food so much flavor. Sometimes you just have to get used to different flavors. Um, I know a lot of people don't even taste different things until they grow up. And then maybe they'll try it and decide whether they like it or not. You can put um, garlic in pans, the whole thing, and it'll get tender. It's just that most people don't want to bite into a big piece of garlic. I don't. But I do like the little bitty pieces. And it really gives your food a lot of good flavor. And like I say, they're healthy for you. My light is coming on. All right. Cool. <laughs> I like my light on. Okay, I got that one done too. And we'll put those in there in a minute with my hamburger. It's cooking up now. then it's harder to, to get it into pieces. Break it up with your spatula or whatever you choose to use. A spatula is a lot easier on a flat pan than a, a spoon when it comes to hamburger. I'm going to turn it down. I don't want it to cook too fast where I can't keep, keep control of it. Oh, it's doing pretty good. Very good. Very good. It's already been peeled and washed and all that. I only used half of it in another meal. But this is a good size onion, so this is all I need for tonight. is trying to go bad on me quick. So I have to 
try to find things to cook to use it up. I do not like my food to go bad. I'm sure y'all don't either. <laughs> bad spots that happen to be in my onion. onion in there and then I can go ahead and get our spaghetti going. going to have a lot of different flavors in it and uh, with the different vegetables and the mushrooms and the and the uh, black olives and tomatoes yum it's going to be good it's going to be so good takes a little bit of cutting out not too bad it's not too bad just a little bit just an onion <laughs> when it gets to your eyes. Mine always seems to get to my eyes a little bit. That's not bad. Look at that. Now it's already looking good, y'all. I get the onion cooking and it don't bother me. It's just the cutting up part. That'll be great. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my... I'm going to rinse my fingers off. Go ahead and put my uh, uh, spaghetti in and let it start cooking. Now this is thin spaghetti, so it's really going to cook quick. Quicker than the regular thick, thick spaghetti. So, so, maybe, maybe I should wait. Just a few more minutes on that because it is going to cook really, really quick. I'm cleaning up my mess here. Y'all know that I try to clean it up as I go. That's the only way I can keep up with it at all. <laughs> I don't like a big mess. It makes it easier when I'm cooking. So, let me see. I cut up my bell pepper. Save the seeds for our garden. So, all I need is one little seed to grow another whole tomato, whole uh, bell pepper plant. So some of them, some of them are trying to go bad. You get a whole thing with a ton of seeds. You save, use some of those seeds, and uh, grow you some more. What a gift that God gives us, right? Right?
part of this one's not so good. So I'm going to cut that out. I gotta get all these seeds out of here. And the fresher your bell pepper is, the easier those seeds come out. When you just hit it and turn it upside down and then just hit it. My pepper was trying, had a couple of bad spots on it. So when your foods do that, it doesn't mean the whole thing is bad. You just cut off those bad spots and go ahead and use them. Depending on how bad it is, of course. And I just pull off the white stuff out of the sides of it. Kind of pat it and the uh, seeds will come out. That one's good. Usually peppers are pretty easy to work with. garlic in. I didn't have to put any oil in here because I had the hamburger grease drippings and all in there for my onion and my uh, garlic. Okay everybody, my camera stopped again but all you missed was I did put my spaghetti and I decided to use the whole bag because this is the thin spaghetti. So I did use two pounds. I put it in here and it's already cooking a little bit and I realized my camera quit and uh, so I'm just going to get my bell peppers in here. Actually I'll do my bell peppers in a minute. Got time for that. So anyway, let me get my squash in there. I had a bad spot on the side so I cut it off. I had already washed them though and just cut the top and bottom off and I do like to use the green when I can but I had to cut that off. It had some bad spots. Like I said I had some I needed to use here. So I'm just going to cut these into some different pieces. Just cut it any kind of way. Any way at all. I'm just going to cut them up. They can be long, they can be short, they can be up whatever way you like. So I'm, right now I'm just doing this one longer. But then I'll cut it in half anyway, so it really don't matter. So I did it like that. See, I did it long, where it's long and skinny, but now I'm going to cut it in half anyway. I like my spaghetti to have chunky vegetables in it. Really good like this. And a lot of people have never tried zucchini. I'm going to cut them smaller. I like to get a little bit in every bite. It's wonderful. But if you've never had zucchini or squash in your spaghetti, try it. It's actually very, very good. I grew up only having spaghetti, I'm uh, only having sauce with just the tomato sauce, hamburger, tomato sauce, uh, yeah, onions, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, it was good, but this is good, this is really good, you get a all your vegetables in it, and it's just so good. I am a fan of vegetables. I like vegetables. I love my vegetables. Sure do. I decided to cut these smaller because my spaghetti is almost done. These don't have to cook very long at all. As a matter of fact, you don't want to cook them long because then they'll just get mushy. 
they don't have to cook long. Slice it up real thin. pieces now because I want them to I'm going to put them in here and I want them to just get to cook quick but not too fast oh, I forgot I got this one a little bit of bad spot on the end I'm just slicing it right down Slicing it right down like that. A bunch of little pieces, and now I'm just going to cut across. It's a little bit easier that way. Turn it. And I'll do the same thing with the yellow squash. Your vegetables in the rest of them. 
because these vegetables, your bell peppers and your squashes, you don't want them to get mushy. Or at least I don't. You can if you like. tomatoes and my olives and I'm going to go ahead and put my squash on in here and my zucchini got to get my bell peppers cut up messes me up like that. It kind of frazzles me a bit. I feel like I get slower afterwards. That's how I feel. I do a lot of cutting up vegetables. I know y'all know that by now. sure do but I like vegetables and if you can get fresh vegetables it's a lot healthier for you so anytime you can get them and make a good meal with them that's great if you have to grab something quick well everybody does sometimes right but if you can try to put in some vegetables for you and your family that's that would be great Almost done <laughs> with this. <laughs> but with this meal, we will be eating on it for a little bit. And I like that. We like to have a little bit of stuff just left over for the days that I don't cook. You know, I like leftovers. I like leftovers. Sometimes they have better taste the next day than when I'm cooking them. They really do. Look at the colors. Look at that. Look how colorful already. That's going to be great. I'm going to stir this up. This is going to be great. I'm, turning my, I'm deciding to turn my uh, spaghetti off because it's continuing to cook. I don't want it to cook too much. I don't want mushy spaghetti. I don't want it sticking. So this was on high earlier, and then I turned it down, and it has cooked and soaked up all that water, and it's been about 15 minutes. It's almost done. Now you guys, my camera wasn't going part of that time, but about 18 15 to 18 minutes on the uh, thin spaghetti because the thin spaghetti cooks so quick. Come over. Yeah. 
This is going to be so good. This is wonderful. As you can tell, probably from many of my dishes, I love pasta. I love pasta. I love tomatoes. I love vegetables. I'm going to drop this into... I'll use this. That's where I had the timer on. I had went on ahead and put a timer on for my spaghetti so I could watch it. And I know now because it's about to go off, but about uh, 18 minutes maybe. Probably no more than 20 minutes tops, tops time to cook. 18 minutes to cook your thin spaghetti. And that's partly because I even turned it down. But I turned it off now, so it's fine. It's going to be fine. It's sitting in the water still, but it wasn't overdone or anything. But I knew to turn it off, and I'll put it in uh, the colander to drain it in just a bit. This stuff is going to turn it down to medium, bring it to, to a low boil simmer, and I'm going to... Like I say, that was for the uh, spaghetti. And I just slice them up a little bit, like the black olives. Some people put them in whole. You can do that. I'm funny. I want a little bit in every bite. <laughs> Everything. But my family likes this, so it works. Those of you that like to just follow along with me and cook, I hope that I give you time. And you can always stop the camera and kind of catch up or something. And, um... Uh, I really hope that this has been helping a lot of y'all. I have had some very nice comments. I appreciate that. I really like to feel like I'm helping somebody. So, the way that I teach is to help y'all and to guide y'all. Uh, I hope that y'all like my teaching and my style of, of teaching. My style of cooking. This is me. It's just me. So I hope it works. <laughs> there we go. Throw a bunch of in. It's gonna be colorful, y'all. Probably about half that can. I need all of that. Yeah. This will be great. About half that can. Yeah. That'd be fine. mushrooms and that's all so this here's getting warm now my spaghetti sauce now that is colorful and it's thick and hearty and healthy yeah it's gonna be good oh it's so good <laughs> it's so good all right i've got my mushrooms to do and that's all I'm cutting up, finally. I only put up, put in one of those uh, squash, too. Drain in my mushrooms.
I'm going to check my camera. And I'm going to cut these mushrooms up a little bit. My spaghetti sauce needs to sit and kind of simmer for at least 10 minutes, maybe 8 minutes, something like that. As long as it's warm inside and uh, kind of has some of the flavors incorporated into it. But I don't want my vegetables mushy. So it doesn't have to cook very long. But I do have to get these mushrooms in there. I'm going to put some salt. And I'm just throwing it in there. And some pepper. And you taste your foods and you'll know how much you like in yours. Your salt and pepper and stuff. This is my Italian seasoning. I always put it in my spaghetti sauce and I put a good bit because it's going into all that tomato stuff and all them vegetables. So that's what I did. It's got salt and pepper and okay y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and I rinse out my jars because they still have a lot of spaghetti sauce in them. So I like to get just a, just a little bit, actually I got more than I wanted, but a little bit of water. And I usually put on the lid, get every bit of that out of there. That way your lid's pretty much going to scort the other one. And then put that lid on there. And now I've got that much more spaghetti sauce. And a lot of people will just throw it all away. You have spaghetti sauce in them things. But don't come out, you know. I just keep my jars. I reuse them. For other stuff. I got out my colander. I'm going to drain my spaghetti. But first, I'm working on my mushrooms. And I got this. Okay, come on. I had turned everything off when my camera quit a minute ago. So I gotta get it back to work and simmer. And just let it simmer for about 10 minutes or so. I said 8 or 10, but I think 10 or 15 might be better on a low simmer. As soon as I get these mushrooms in there, I just want to cut these up a little bit. They're kind of Big old bites. I don't like that big bite of mushroom, but I do like mushrooms. Just like I, just like the garlic. <laughs> I don't want a big old bite of it. I hope y'all like us sharing, sharing the way that I cook for my family and. I know everybody has their own way and their own likes and dislikes. So, almost done. When I was a little girl, I did not want nothing to do with no mushroom. I thought that was awful. I thought that was ridiculous. Why would you want to eat a mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> and I grew up kind of scared of them too because back then it's been a few years <laughs> so it's um, back then you didn't eat mushrooms you might get sick and die from a mushroom you know of course you do have to be careful about mushrooms you really do still nowadays too but uh, I like mushrooms now yeah. Okay, that's starting to boil a little bit. That's good. Put these mushrooms in there. And I have got everything in here, y'all. Finally got it all in there. <laughs> okay, and I have my spices. I am going to turn this down to medium. Maybe a little lower, but right now I'm going to put it on medium. I might have to turn it down in a few minutes. 
I let it do this for at least five minutes because it needs to get hot. I mean, it's starting to steam. It is steaming now. But uh, I want it to get all that flavor everywhere without getting mushy. This is going to be wonderful. This has all kinds of good flavor in it, y'all. I mean, this is healthy. It's uh, thick, hearty, and healthy. <laughs> That's what I call it. And I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's my kind of spaghetti sauce. So, I'll let that cook a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and drain my spaghetti. up. It soaked up every bit of that water. It's a good thing I turned it off. It's a good thing I turned it off and covered it because it kept the moisture in. So the spaghetti is absolutely perfect. It's great. Big old pan. Like I said, we like spaghetti. We love spaghetti. It's cooked perfect. But I do drain my spaghetti. I rinse it and drain it, and that keeps it from sticking together later. Yeah, some people say don't do that, but I, I do because I don't want one big clump of spaghetti later. So I put my big old colander down in my sink. I have a big deep sink. Let my water get hot. It needs to be hot. I don't want my spaghetti to get cold. I just need it. I just need it to uh, swim. Okay, I'm starting to get warm now. I just go ahead and fill up my pan. That way it's getting water all in it. Okay, sorry about that. Had to give me another pan. I'm because this one's still got spaghetti in it. And I didn't want to put more in to what I was already rinsing. So I got another pan, same size. And I'm just putting it back into this one so I can use it. 
This is the clean one. If you wait too long to do this though, this should be okay, but if you wait too long to put it in there, sometimes it'll be more clumpy. I made quite a bit of spaghetti, but like I said, we like, we love our spaghetti. and chunky. I love it. The vegetables are perfect. I'm turning it down. It's between medium and low. And I'm going to let it cook another five minutes at least. And then we're going to eat. Yay! This is great. This is great. It's wonderful. It's been at least five or eight more minutes. And uh, look at that. It's going to come back down. Down, down, down. Look at that. Isn't that good? Look how thick that is. Wonderful. Wonderful. I wanted y'all to see how thick and good this is. <laughs> I think y'all can see it. Look at that. Look at that. Oops, there we go. So, this is totally ready. It's wonderful. Yummy. Now, I want y'all to see what I did over here. Instead, since I had so much spaghetti, I put it in two pans, okay? And because if you put all of it in one pan, it weighs down. And then it does kind of try to stick together. But I had, I had quite a bit in both these pans. You know, it'd be a whole full pan. So that's why I did that. Just a little hint. Maybe it'll help y'all. Okay. Ooh, 
wee. Doesn't that look good? Good stuff. Look how thick that is. Look at that. Look how thick that is, y'all. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see it. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. I'm making a mess. Yay! Look how nice and thick and chunky and great. This is wonderful. I hope y'all can see this. Oh man. That's why I like spaghetti. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. That's good spaghetti. And yes, I do. Yeah. See what y'all can see. I'll see what y'all can see. I hope y'all can see that. I can't let it come off the plate. <laughs> it slide right off the plate. Yeah, 
Now this is packed with flavor, y'all. This. <laughs> I told you, I love to put vegetables and stuff. I love to pack things with flavor. I love good healthy food. And this is good healthy food. Some people will say, pasta's not. Well, guess what? You got all the vegetables on there. You can eat some pasta. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Yum. But I make my spaghetti like this all the time. <laughs> so I love it. Sometimes I make it with just the, you know, tomato sauce and meat and stuff, but I like it with all the vegetables. So we do this quite often. And we do just the tomato sauce often too. Mm. Yum. Even my grandkids eat this. My grandkids love vegetables. It's amazing. It's wonderful. I love it. <laughs> They're not picky. They grew up with it, so that's what the normal eating is for them as well. Mm. This is good. This is very good. I do hope that you guys try it. I really do. It takes a little time cutting up all that stuff, but it's okay. It's not bad. It doesn't take too long. Put just some music on and enjoy yourself. Mmm. And whenever while stuff's cooking, you can wipe up and clean up, and by the time you get to eat, and then you don't have to do dishes and stuff. All you do is wash a couple of plates. It makes it easier to keep up with. Mm. I love it. I always have, always will. Yes, I love my spaghetti. Especially this way. Yum. And if you guys like spaghetti, try my chicken cacatori on top of rice. I mean, on top of spaghetti. That was on top of spaghetti. <laughs> I think it was on top of spaghetti. Chicken cacatori. Yes, it was. It was on top of a, on a bowl and on top of spaghetti. And that had some good flavor. I like that. I really love that. I like that a lot. Chicken cacatori. And I did one. Had a little bit of spaghetti. It was my um, teriyaki chicken with vermicelli. All in one pot cooked. I think you'll like that. It's very good. Easy dishes. They're easy. They're very good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I think you guys are going to like it. I hope you do. I know you will. You try it. Zucchini and squash are really good in this dish like this. In this spaghetti. And you really don't... They don't taste just like that. They're different because it's incorporated in all this good spaghetti sauce and flavor from the hamburger and everything. It is good. And the mushrooms, the olives. It is, it is good. <laughs> Y'all will like it. I know you will. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is excellent. Yum. Love my spaghetti. Especially with my veggies. <laughs> so I call it my hearty... I don't know what I call it. My hearty spaghetti. Hearty. Healthy hearty spaghetti sauce. <laughs> anyway, I really hope that you guys like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, tell me if you tried it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. That really, really will help me a lot. Uh, I appreciate y'all watch, watching this all the way through on uh, any of my videos. I really do. And, um, it means a whole lot to me watching them all the way through and subscribing subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and uh, yeah 
yeah let me know what you think give me a thumbs up all right so thank you for watching thank you thank you so very much thank you as always bye Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> You're running around you. Yeah. Well, then I'm more or what? <laughs> no, it's fine. Mm -hmm.